Hey everybody, it's Julie Ebersol for EllenHudson.com and in this episode of Hello Monday, I'm going to be doing a Z Fold surprise card. I'm working with Reverse Confetti's Foodie Fun, which is an adorable set. I think it may have been intended for Valentine's Day, but I think it's a great way to say you love somebody any time of year. And I'm also going to be using the Essentials by Ellen Plaid Maker set to complement it. So I've taken the bread slice image and mounted that to an acrylic block and I'm working with Catherine Pooler's dye inks for this project. And this this is icing on the cake. It's a nice, deep, rich brown. And I love the coverage I get with this water-based ink. And I'm stamping onto some Nina Desert Storm. This is a craft-colored cardstock. And I always save my scraps. And thank goodness I had one here that was perfect for these two slices of bread. And I also had a scrap of Solar White. And these are all 80-pound weights of cardstock that I'm working with. I'm going to ink up the jam image with some Rockin' Red. And then I decided I wanted to have some shading. So I'm going to grab peppermint scrub, which is a deeper, richer, like cr almost cranberry colored red. And I'm just going to angle it. So I'm inking up a portion of the image along the edges there, not the whole thing. So then I get this really nice gradation of color across the whole image. But isn't that coverage great? I absolutely love that. So now I'm going to uh, use the coordinating dies here and take this over to my Gemini Junior and get those die cut out and I can start building my sandwich. I'm going to use a tape runner to anchor this onto the top there. And I love this tape runner because it's small and compact, fits nicely in my hand. And it's a dotted adhesive runner. So now you can see how my sandwich is coming together. I'm going to take those pieces at this point and toss them in a bowl so I don't lose them. And I'm making an A2 card. I've already scored it at four and a quarter inches. So this was eight and a half by five and a half and then I scored in the middle for the gutter at four and a quarter inches and then I need one more score line. So I'm going to line this up and score again at two and one eighth. So I'm going to split the difference there on the front portion of my card and then I can go ahead and start folding these and creasing them and I'm going to use a Teflon bone folder to crease these very crisply and sharply because it will help my card stay collapsed much better and that's also important um, for using 80 pound cardstock instead of something heavier. Um, usually when I'm gonna do any folds like this, I like to use 80 pound or 60 pound weight cardstock because anything higher than that just gets too bulky and it doesn't collapse and fold very nicely. So now I've got that done, I'm gonna grab my Misty stamp positioning tool and I'm using the regular size and there's a reason why I wanted this size platform uh, for my stamping. I'm going to grab some scratch paper and tuck that inside and I've flushed the whole card over to the right hand side of the bumpers here on my Misty. Anchor that down with a magnet and then I'm going to go ahead and anchor my scratch paper because I just want to make sure it doesn't kind of pop up on me. And I've grabbed the mini gingham pattern stamp from the Plaid Maker stamp set and I'm going to position that right over that fold line there on the card front. Go ahead and close the lid and get that mounted. And I'm gonna be inking up with Skylight. This is a really pretty shade of blue. And of course, you know me, I'm a fastidious inker. So I don't just give it one or two taps. It's like, no, I gotta do it like five or six times. <laughs> I don't know if that's OCD or what, but I got to do it. Now, I just realized I've got a stray ink mark there on the lid, and I'm afraid it will transfer to my card project because of that fold line. So I'm just going to wipe it off very quickly uh, so I don't have to worry about it. And then I'm going to use that CPR method to get my uh, impression made. And I've got a nice, crisp, even impression all the way across the top. So now I'm going to open that up. I'm not moving anything. I'm just opening it up and I'm going to re-anchor the card front with that bar magnet. And then I'm going to remove the scratch paper and bring back my little magnets there to hold down the inside back of the card. I'm going to re-ink that mini gingham pattern again and re-stamp the same image right there inside the card. And this way, when you close the card, the plaid on the front and the plaid on the inside are going to line up perfectly. I mean, it is spot on. And that's the great thing about using the Misty for something like this. So now I'm going to take my sandwich and start uh, building the inside. I'm just going to use tape runner again because I want to keep that flush mounted as much as possible on the inside of the card. And I could have masked off the whole thing and done it that way, but I just loved this look. So now I'm going to use these 3D uh, thin foam mounting squares and put a couple of those on the back side, but I'm staying towards the left hand side because that's where I'm actually going to mount it to the card front. I do not want adhesive going across the entire 
back surface there. So now I can remove those liner papers and I'm just going to slightly offset it so I've got more dimension there for my sandwich. And it, uh, you can tell that there's something more to the card. And then when you open and close it, you get this effect, which is so fun, I think. And I love that it's such an easy one to do. We've got all the supplies listed down below in the description. And all the supplies are available at ellenhudson.com. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. And to see more of our papercraft videos, click on the photos below and subscribe to our channel.